I am here today to shout my abortion. And the reason I want to shout my abortion is because when I shout my abortion, I'm really shouting about God. Because God showed up at my abortion appointment. Is that possible that God could show up to an abortion? Is it possible that he can forgive abortion? Or is that just a sin that, that's just really beyond his willingness to forgive? Well, the answer is found in my story. And that's why I want to shout my story to you today. I went into my abortion experience, my first one, um, with a very flip attitude. I, I actually even self-aggrandized thinking that I was entering into that signature moment in a woman's life when she really becomes a true woman by having an abortion. I was even almost proud of myself to have to admit that is not a happy thing for me. But the effects of the abortion were so extreme and it was such a horrific experience that I had an immediate, immediate uh, course correction and attitude correction. I was shattered by my abortion experience. I was shattered and broken by it. And it didn't require any time for reflection. It was right away. I knew I had made a mistake and I knew I had done something that was irreparable and that there were casualties involved in this choice lie that had been sold to me. So I was sitting in there and I'm, I'm very upset in the abortion clinic. So they shuffle me out the back door so that the girls in the front who are in the waiting room don't see because that might be bad for business. And I'm going down this back door metal kind of fire escape exit staircase that they sent me down. And I was stumbling to my car in tears and shock. And right outside the door of my car, I see that there's a little colorful object on the ground. I'm looking through my tears, but I can see that there's something there. So I stoop down to pick it up. And um, I have it right here. I've kept it for over 40 years because it meant that much to me. It was just a little token, a little thing, a little, it's a lapel pin from a birthday party or something had been run over in the parking lot. It says, well, it pictures a mother bird with wings stretched out over her babies and the words there in the blue and white, it says, he careth for you. Now, another person might not have taken that very seriously, but at that very dark moment of my life, I took it very seriously. Now, I didn't know God at the time. I didn't know Jesus. I didn't know the Bible. I didn't know anything about anything except that when I saw the word careth, and I know this sounds silly, but this is the way it was. When I saw the word careth, I knew it was God talking. I knew it was Bible talk. And what was he saying? He was saying, I care for you. So it wasn't a bolt of lightning as a punishment. It wasn't a message of condemnation and shaming. He wasn't saying, I'm so disappointed in you because of what you've just done, taking the life of your own child. No, it was none of that. It was, I care about you. I see you. And it was really as though God had seen fit to reach down out of heaven with his Zoroa, his arm, just to tell me, just to tell this shattered, broken young girl that he cared about me. And it really stuck with me and I took it personally. It was a message for me. And it planted seeds that made it possible for me to one day give my life over to Jesus as the savior and forgiver, the redeemer of my life, who would forgive me of the sin of abortion and, and every other sin that I had engaged in through the years and give me freedom and freedom and, and, a, and a light heart and joy in the midst of having had a very messy life. So I'm speaking to you who are hurting from an abortion experience. Some of you are carrying a very heavy burden of guilt and shame. Sometimes this, this keeps you up at night. It, it affects your relationships. Maybe you've buried it deep down inside, but it's still there and you know it. And I, I just want to say that Jesus has an offer to make for you. He, he's, he says, come to me, all you that are laboring and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. 
And what is that rest? That's that's freedom from your sin. You can just tell Jesus, confess to him. These are all the things that I've done. And, and, I, and I, I need your forgiveness. I ask your forgiveness. I come before you with a broken heart. And he will forgive you. Just as he did for me. Because he careth for you. He careth for you. Just as he does for me. And I, I, I think that's a really great reason to shout my abortion.